Hey, how's it going? Thanks for uh, checking this video out. We're going to be looking at something pretty cool today. Um, one of my personal favorite modules in Docuer is uh, Docuer Forms. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to convert a form. We're going to take a look at this form here, uh, a PDF form. We're going to convert this into an online form that can be filled out and indexed within um, Docuer as well as have the original form populated with our index entries. So this is our test form here. We're going to look at a refund, refund request form um, for a uh, school. I'm going to show you how I create the file cabinet, create the indexes, and then I'm going to show you how to create a merge form. So let's get started. Okay, so we're starting off with a clean slate. First thing I want to do is take a look at our form here. We're doing a request, I'm sorry, a refund request form um, for a student. And taking a look at the form, I can kind of identify which indexes I want. Um, typically, you want to determine which ones you want to be able to search by. So obviously, I want to have the parent guardian name the student name, their grade. Um, it looks like I'm going to grab their attendance building. Um, and then we'll uh, grab the account description, the refund amount, and their account code. And that should be enough to uh, bring up the document in the file cabinet when we do our search. And then I'll show you how we can populate each of these index areas on this document uh, using DocuReforms. So the first thing I want to do is set up a new file cabinet. Um, I'm going to go to my configurations, I'm going to go to my file cabinets here, and I'm going to create a new file cabinet. I'm going to call this a uh, refund request. We'll make it blue. On the next tab here we have our uh, database fields. Um, these, are the these are the database fields that give you by default when you create a new file cabinet. I'm just going to keep, keep the document type. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're making a file cabinet, they do require you to have at least one um, database field listed in here. You can always keep one in there, go through the setup process, create the file cabinet, and then go back later and create more database fields. But I'm going to go ahead and create them now since I know which ones I want. Okay, so I have my indexes identified. Um, if you're doing an index field like date, for example, you can choose date from the drop down under type, and that'll ensure that that field is a numerical date. Um, you can also choose to have a numeric field if you want, um, keyword, decimal, and date time. But for this file cabinet, I'm just going to be using uh, text fields. The next screen here, we have our permissions. That's me there. I'm the owner of the file cabinet, so I will have all rights to it. But if I wanted to add a user to this file cabinet, I would click on that plus sign. I can add a user directly, or I can add an entire role to that file cabinet. OK, so our file cabinet is made. Now I do want to add what are called select lists to two of the fields on this file cabinet. Um, the, the fields for grade and attendance building. I want to make sure that there's a drop down that they can choose um, an option from. Now to create those drop downs in the file cabinet, we want to go to indexing assistance. I'm going to create a new select list. It's going to be fixed. Um, you can uh, connect an external select list, like a CSV file, for example. So the first one's going to be called grade, and then I'm going to put in my um, options here. One thing to keep in mind when you're making a select list is it is in alphabetical order. Um, which is why I'm putting zeros in front of each of the grade numbers. 
Otherwise, it'd be a, be a bit of a mess. And then I'm going to make another select list for um, a tenants building, but I've already made that. So that one is right here, and those are my options. So now what we need to do is go back to our file cabinet and connect the select list with those index fields. There's my cabinet there. And to connect those, we want to go to our dialog. So we have our traditional result list, search dialog, and store dialog. We have to go into each one of these and connect our select list. So I had one for grade. I'm going to remove the default select list, move over to my fixed tab here, and then I'm going to scroll down and find grade, student grade. That's what we want. And we'll need to do that for each of the dialogues. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add my attendance building. There we go. And the reason why um, the result list dialog box has two tabs at the top, result and index dialog, is because when you're bringing up a result list in Docuer, which is when you perform a search, you can right click on the index entry, go to edit index entry, and edit, actually edit each of the um, index fields. And that's what this dialog box here um, controls. So we're gonna move on to our search dialog and do the same thing. And last, we'll do our store dialog. Perfect. Save. Okay, so now we have our index, I'm sorry, our select list um, connected to our index fields. So we have the file cabinet created now, we have our select list. Next step is to create our form.